Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about our next significant severe weather event here that's going to be coming up today. It's going to be going on this evening. But before I get started with the video, I'd like to apologize for my absence. I've been gone uh, on vacation over the weekend and I've actually been sick ever since then. So Mon Sunday actually I started getting under the weather and uh, today it's been bad. M Monday through Tuesday has been really bad. So I'm just trying to get over that right now and still make some videos for you guys. Now there is going to be a severe weather outbreak, like I said, again going on later today. You can see right here, Midland, Texas looks to be right in the middle of that enhanced risk of severe weather. We're going to be talking a lot about that. In the yellow, uh, a lot of Texas and as well as New Mexico are going to be involved in uh, the slight to enhanced effects. Now in these enhanced areas, so that's where we usually see the largest amounts of effects. Uh, this is where we see more of like an outbreak. In the yellow, we see some moderate effects. Sometimes we see some very severe effects. And then in the marginal, it's, it's really hit or miss. Uh, it, depending on where you're at exactly Dallas isn't in that is in that marginal risk as well as Albuquerque I just wanted to mention that now I did want to walk you through some of the specifics first off we're looking at our our tornado risk you can see in the green color here we have two percent risk so that's from Albuquerque down through uh, a lot of Texas down there into into Midland, of course, but uh, they have a higher risk in there. And just west of Dallas, so anywhere in this green area, you have a 2% risk. In the in the brown area, though, we do have a 5% risk. Midland is right in there. And then in the yellow area, just to the west of Midland, we have a 10% risk of tornadoes. Uh, and here's your your wind outlook, and you can see Albuquerque's in that, in that 5% area in the brown. Uh, a lot of other areas in Texas as well, going up into Colorado and Oklahoma. Then we have a 15% chance in that first yellow area. And in the yellow area, surrounded by red, we have a 30% chance of wind effects from these storms. Now here's your hail outlook in the brown. We're looking at a 5% risk from Albuquerque down into Dallas, just west of Oklahoma City. We're all in that 5% risk. Then in our first yellow color, we have a 15% chance. Second yellow color, we have a 30% chance. The yellow color is surrounded by red. And then in that pink area, we have a 45% chance of hail in Midland. So there should be some severe storm setting up with some hail cores uh, heading right into this area. So if you're in Midland, stay uh, really aware of the weather. Keep the cars in the garage if that's an option or just try your best to protect them obviously because uh, we have a high high hail risk here and you can see in this dashed area we have a we have a significant hail risk within this dashed area according to the National Weather Service. Anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.